come you guys got better powers than me? It's a secret. Shut up. Hey everyone, Thornton and Smash here, and we're over at New Meta Gaming Lounge playing some Apex Legends after the ALGS. All these guys will vouch, I just whooped all their asses in arenas. But today, we're gonna be talking about the meta changes coming for Apex Legends. And we're also gonna give out 45 bucks, all you gotta do is like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill, but without further ado, I gotta whoop some more ass in arenas, then we'll talk about the video. Okay, so we have a lot to talk about in regards to season 16. We did get our announcement for the next trailer for Apex Legends, which will be launching on February 6th at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's very important to note that the video is pretty short. It's only about two minutes and 30 seconds long or so, but that it's also not gonna be called season 16. Instead, they are going with the theme of a new chapter, which makes a lot of sense because pretty much everything is being changed. Now, we also know that they did another tweet and post about the new event kicking off right for the opening day for the Apex Games anniversary and they threw in a bunch of teasers, such as a shooting gallery for firearm enthusiasts. Claw machine, grab the shinies, gems, whack a prowler, all that stuff. What's really important to know about this one, though, is that the shooting gallery might be a hint, because from what I've heard, the firing range updates are finally ready to go, which would explain why they went absolutely chaotic at the midpoint of this season. Some of you might have noticed the dummies being completely inaccurate, and I think it had to do with them putting it into the files, the update. Now, we saw the leak a long time ago, and pretty much all this stuff will be coming into the game, although I don't think it's actually going to use a panel. Instead, you'll be able to use your user interface, but this leak comes from season 12 and it would make sense that after four seasons it's finally ready to come but you'll be able to make the dummies fight back you can make the dummies move quicker that you can change the target speeds the dummy settings and yes there will be infinite weapon reloads so that you do not have to continually pick up stacks of ammo this is a long way to change and it's nice that they finally brought it over from the mobile game which had it from the launch now there's also been a lot of things teased for the support legend classes as you know there are four new support legends it's going to be loba lifeline newcastle and gibraltar and we've known from a while because they actually did in a dev stream where support bins can be used by support legends so everyone's going to have access to the med station. But there's also been something teased quite a bit, and it's been thrown around on Twitter. You might have noticed that Crow Rindo, who is a Lifeline main, was very excited and said, we have a bright future. And it was asked right under that, what about Loba mains? Anything at all? And he said, Loba also eating good, indicating that this is probably a class upgrade. And we do know that the Lifeline care package animation was actually increased to make it faster, but Crow also let us know there is more. And I've heard a little bit about it, and it does seem quite interesting. I actually put out a tweet yesterday saying support mains are going to be eating good. And out of all the replies, this is the most accurate one I saw. And nothing is ever 100% confirmed coming to the game until Respawn shows us in the trailer or we actually get to play it, but I think this man knows something that the rest of us probably don't, because crafting banners has been talked about for a long time and it seems as though it is finally coming into the game. As we know, each class is getting a brand new perk. The Assault class gets the extra 60 to 80 ammo, but they also get red bins, which will give you different types of weapon attachments found in them. It's the Assault version of that support one. We know that Skirmisher can see within care packages, but they probably have something else as well. Control now gets to use the scale beacon function as we talked about the other day which will allow them to set up for their end game much earlier and not rely on a recon legend to do that and there was some confusion that i saw posted on tweets the recon class will now still be able to use the exact same survey beacon but it will give them the information found from the crypto map room however it will not tell you zone knowledge i don't know 100 how this will work you'll have to watch the creator networks when they upload but i imagine that once per ring or even maybe even once per game you'll be able to see the target enemies it's important to see the actual gameplay from those creators because that is going to give you the most useful information. This is just like a little bit of teaser and snippets from what I understand. Also, other cool news is that Seer is getting a massive nerf. I didn't bring this up in the last video. I don't know why. I didn't really think about it. There was so much to cover. But yeah, his passive does seem to be taking quite a hit as well. It's not going to be nearly as powerful as before. I don't know if they've done any major changes to his tactical or ultimate, but I do know that the passive heartbeat scanner is definitely going to be taking a massive hit. Along with watching the ALGS this weekend, I noticed almost every single team uses Valk's ultimate ability to look down below and scan the enemies. And seeing as that is no longer going to be something she can do, I'll be very interested to see how that works out in the comp at least. Don't forget, this upcoming Tuesday, we do have the brand new Date Night Game Mode, which is going to be a duo's playlist takeover, which has some unique functions with the healing mechanic. But Senna brought up some cool sounds that you guys can check out on his Twitter. It's a pretty long video, actually, but I think it has something to do with the bow check and the healing combination. But do remember to tune in on Monday to go ahead and see that new trailer, as you're going to get a lot more information and a first-hand look from Respawn themselves at what officially is going to be coming into this season. Let me know down below what you guys think of the new meta change is coming for season 16. Are you hyped? And as always, keep playing, guys, and see you out there.